you're right. My head is bald. I look like literally like Uncle Fester. Like I need to have a light bulb in my mouth. <laughs> like that's a lot. Just one out above you. Yeah, for a lot, for a lot. I mean, whoo, my goodness gracious. For a live cooking show, this is very white and blown out and stuff like that. Oh, yes. let, 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 let me check the good old phone here and let's uh, let's see uh, if, it, if it's working. Unless you see any comments in there. Well, I, I got you down here, but uh, I don't see. Oh, hey, Bruce is here. Food for oh. All right. So it's working. All right. We're, we're, so, we're done. We're, so I did something right. So that's a good thing. So, so the plan is for this little pre-Thanksgiving, you know, tonight is called Bar Magidden. It's the busiest night for bar owners. They're gonna make the most money in the in the in this 24 hour period tonight because apparently everybody goes to their in-laws house and everything, and they're like, Well, we're not gonna stay here. So we're gonna go out to the bar. Hold on. We got the windbag comment of the hour so far. Cooking with Corey says your steak's going to be overcooked. Well, I mean, we're inside. We're on the cast iron. We got this big bone-in. This is a ribeye. Thick bone-in ribeye. Salt, pepper, garlic. And then uh, we got a little bit of uh, olive oil and some salt and pepper on these. Let's see the camera. It, the color's not good. On this asparagus, we're gonna roast these up in the oven. Of course, we got the, the the thyme. We got some garlic, got some butter. We're just waiting for this cast iron to get hot. Corey's a hater. I mean, let's be honest with each other. So anyways, if you're joining us, if you're joining Daddy Dutch Barbecue and myself, you're not at Barmageddon. You're not at the bar right now. You're probably uh, watching YouTube and watching uh, me cook the most delicious ribeye steak ever on the face of the planet. That could be possible, but <laughs> my barber gets right here. <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing. I'm, I'm running low. You. How can you do a live stream unprepared like this? I uh, I think I have a Corona in the refrigerator. Does that count? Sure. Okay, uh, stand by. Stand uh, by. The fridge is right behind you. Where are you going? I'm right here. All right. Jim, uh, Jim EQ is here, and he says, I'm here for the bur burnt steak part two. Uh, okay, listen. That was a myth perpetrated by Chef Johnny. There's never been any burnt steak on this channel, ever, ever. Oh, and you can't have a Corona. Hold on. You can't have a Corona without a lime. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Can't back me on that. Cynthia Falcon, hello. Happy Thanksgiving to you, dear. So I roped I roped Kent into going live with me tonight. Everybody Kent's got one. All his prep work done for tomorrow for my mother-in-law. So I thought, you know what? I will come on here just like I do every week on Thursday night to yeah. help the less fortunate than me. Thank you for helping the less fortunate than you. I couldn't have done it without you. <sighs> CJ, yes, everybody, everybody's, everybody's busy doing, doing stuff tonight, getting ready for the big day tomorrow. But I roped Kent into it. It happens. So, so yeah, Mike, Mike, you are completely right. I am bored. I've been off work for a week. <laughs> and I, oh. So tomorrow, since it's just me and the little guy, turkey legs. Dry brown. Uh, the bigger one, is that David's? That's, yeah, exactly. I'm having the smaller one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Big Cat 305 just says, Cat, you want to do a live in 30 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're almost getting there, I think. Yeah. Hey, Josh. Yes, sir. Look at the bottom blue bottom blue comment on your screen. Let me see here. Let's see. Oh, Kent's moonlighting. That's right. Hey, <laughs> I, I called CJ. 
he's busy. He's doing his family business. Everybody's doing their stuff. So it's all right. It's all right. I had to, uh, Kent had to do a, a side job tonight. This isn't his normal full-time job. I just had to hire him, you know, on the side. So, yeah, it happens. All right. So, let's see here. Our oven's at 400. We'll throw the asparagus in for what, like 12, 12 minutes or so? Roast those up. I, was thinking, I don't know. I don't know how your oven cooks. So. Uh, I think you cook. Alexa. Set a timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Starting now. I'm thinking when I pull the asparagus out, I'm going to put a little Parmesan on the top of it with the salt, pepper, olive oil. I don't know. He, the little guy likes that stuff. So That sounds actually almost like uh, Babe told you to do that. Almost. Almost. So now that we've gotten a little bit of heat with this cast iron... Let's see if we can't burn ourselves a steak, as everybody says, right? Well, Corey's already started the count now, so. Oh, okay. Well, this is a bone-in ribeye. I don't know. What is it? About a pound or so? It's a pretty good size. So we'll just lay this away from us. We'll toss this in here. Boy, that uh, that lighting is really really spectacular. Right? Let me tell you. Yeah, oh, you're. Uh, you need to find like a cotton uh, beanie. Like, no, a cotton uh, the clear white like cheesecloth and put it up over that light so it takes out oh, white. You're like you're like muted or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So, hey, Dan is here from Outdoor Cooking. Hey, hey, hey. Delana Bertram's here. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Jacqueline and Dad. Who else did I miss? I said Paul, I said CJ, Corey, Mike, Thomas from Michigan. That should be uh, that should be a fun one this weekend with uh, uh, between Lep and Tom over there. Yeah. That Ohio State Michigan game. Is Leprechaun's gonna do the uh, do the Blackstone Turkey? Is what I want to know. Yes, he's doing that tomorrow. Oh, he's gonna he's, do it. He's gonna jump in live a couple times while he's oh, doing awesome. it. He said. Awesome. Well, it smells good. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of steak. It smells good. Well, let it sit there and do its thing. Don't be picking it up and crap. <laughs> it's hot. That cast iron's hot. I can feel it. How, how long can you hold your hand over that cast iron? I mean, this is a ga gas stove. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty It's pretty freaking warm. You want to know a funny fact is that California and its infinite wisdom is thinking about passing a law that all new construction in California and all new homes in California are not allowed to have gas stoves because it's bad for the environment. It needs to be 100% electric. But I say the same thing about electric cars and that, which is all fine. Who makes electricity? The power, the coal power plants? Because or... I don't think we have any more nuclear power plants in, in California. <laughs> Yeah, you guys think weird out there. Yeah, well. Papa Texas is here, Josh. Oh, Papa Texas. I haven't seen Papa Texas in a while. All right, so we did a little flipperoo. I got a couple little, uh, I already peeled them, a little, couple little garlics. Maybe you should bring that pan a little closer so we can see the sear you got on that steak on top now. All right, let me uh, let me see if I can uh, bring it up here without burning the hell out of myself. Woo! Up. Uh, it's not overcooked yet, Corey. It's not overcooked yet. Smells good. Smells good. 
All right. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Everybody saying hi to each other. So my plan is to add a little butter in a second, and then I'm just going to baste, baste, baste with the butter. That's my plan. Okay. Don't baste too long. Don't baste too long. You might overdo it. And I'm using Kerrygold Irish butter. Mmm. The fried tartar is going pretty good. Oh, well, hey, so far you're doing all right. You haven't set the smoke alarm off, so. Don't worry. We're not done yet. We still have plenty of time to screw things up. Okay. Uh, Mike, Big Cat 305 wants to know, you got butter in there yet? Hurry up and get that butter in there. Here we go. Butter's in. You're going to need more than that. You want another knob? We got another knob right here. Then do it. And butter's cheap. Butter's cheap. Got to get a big spoon. Hey, Tommy is here from the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. Oh, what's up? So we got the fried thyme smell. We got the garlic. We're basting with butter. The Kerrygold Irish butter. Nothing's burning. Yet. So... Have a little faith. So, oh, cuffing stuff is here also. Jimmy. Oh, that's, that's my brother right there. Yes, another thin blue line. There it is. Actually, right here in the sink, I was just drinking out of it today, the cuff and scuff, cuff and stuff Yeti. There you go. There we go. All right, we're going to do a little more basting with the garlic and the thyme. You got an Insta read in there or not? Uh, I, I do in a, in a minute. I got one on the side here. Good. Let's make sure we're using the proper tools while we're cooking. Please. Uh, we got the proper tools. Okay. Cool. And, and what, what, what time are we pulling? What time are we pulling this steak, uh, Kent? 120, 125? I went, uh, depends how long you're going to let it rest, but I went and go past 125 for me. I mean, for me, it's 120, 125. Right. Now that we got the butter in and the garlic, I'm going to flip it, I think, right, one more time and put that garlic underneath with a little bit of the thyme. Ooh, that's hot. So we got the little, uh, the thermopop instant read thermometer. James sent me this. Cooking with James. Let's, let's use it. Well, let's use it. 101. 115. 108. Keep pasting. So we're almost there. We're getting there. Elton's here from Godfather Barbecue. Oh! So we're doing a little more basting. All the way from Barbecue Boulevard. Hear that nice rhythm he has on that basting, guys? It's like clockwork. <laughs> what do you think? We're probably about done, I would imagine. You're you're approaching the finish line. I think we're approaching the finish line. Let me get into the fattest part here. Hold on one second. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? <laughs> Alexa. How much time is left on the timer? You have three minutes and ten seconds left on your twelve-minute timer. Three minutes left. Okay. Okay, but we're gonna pull the steak. You better check with that instant read again, or it's gonna be blue rare, like Corey said. No, hold on. All right, so we pulled it off. Let's check with the instant read. Let's do a little checking first. Then we're gonna let it rest. 
122. That part is 109. A little under there. 121. Getting better. Let's see here. Where's that 109 at? Is that dead middle or what? No, that was on the side. Oh no, that was dead middle. And on the on the side right here, close to the edge, is 132. So I think we're okay. So we'll we'll take our time. We'll put our time on the top. We'll put our garlic cloves on the top. Because I'm gonna eat those. You gonna eat the time? I'm not gonna eat the time. I'm gonna eat the, the garlic. Well, put, a little bit of, put a little bit of butter. Okay. And then uh, what do you think about tinting it for a couple seconds? Okay, but that would be uh, peeking in the oven looking at that uh, asparagus because you don't want to burn that either. We don't want to burn the asparagus. Let's, let's tint the steak for a couple, couple minutes. We'll set that right there. Just let that hang out with the thyme and the garlic. Let's take a little look in the oven. Asparagus is good. Not, not done yet. So that's good. So this is a stressful situation with Kent here. Kent runs a tight ship. Well, uh, you know, somebody, somebody's got to keep you in line with bed. Somebody, yeah. So there we go. We'll put this away for a moment. And uh, yeah, we'll rinse off our hands. Let's see here. I'm gonna have to go back and read the chat later. There there might be some there might be some trash talking in there. I just have a a, a, a hunch, if you will. Well, I I pretty much read most of it other than the fact that Corey says Josh is stressing out right now. Oh, I'm not I'm not stressing out. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be all right. If anything, I feel like I should have pulled the steak even a couple minutes sooner. I mean, I, I'm I'm okay with it a little bit bloody. Oh, it's it's still gonna be plenty pick inside. You think you think so? Hey, Tom Horseman is here. Oh, what's up, Tom? Oh, there's a timer. Alexa, stop. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got here. All right, with our little roasted asparagus. See, I feel like it could go in even for a couple more, a couple more uh, minutes. I'll put that Parmesan on it now and let that Parmesan cook into it a little bit. That's okay. That's what I'm thinking, and put it back in for a couple more seconds. Yep. Let your uh, let your steak rest a couple more minutes, and then it's about supper time. Yeah, we might be we might be in the game. All this drama for an eight-year-old's dinner. Did you ask David how he likes his steak cooked? Oh, he, I, he, he's a he's a medium, <coughs> medium rare type of guy. So we'll turn the oven off, and then we'll put this back in for a couple seconds just to melt that cheese. Yeah, the residual heat should cook that through. Let that sit for a second. And that's how easy it is to uh, cook a steak. Let's hope that it's not under or over. Let's hope it's just right. Well, I'm sure Corey will let us know if it's wrong. Well, Corey's going to let us know. I mean, it smells pretty fantastic. And that's a bone-in ribeye. They had them on sale. So what so was it? What was the IT right next to the bone, Josh? Uh, you know, we could check it again. Go ahead, pierce that steak, make all the juice run out of it. Well, it, it, it's, it's, this is a very, uh, this is actually, I, I'm pretty impressed by this little thermopop. Not, not too, uh, not too shabby. Corey wants to know, what'd you pay a pound for that steak? Uh, eight ninety nine. But then it was on sale for uh, it, the, the normal price was eight ninety nine. 
Let's see. Right next to the bone, it was 140 right there. But let me get in the biggest, meatiest part right here. We're at 127, biggest, meatiest part. Hold on. 136 in another part. What do you think? That should be pretty close for David. We should be pretty good. This is a choice. This isn't a prime. So. Okay. Corey says that's what he sells them for in Nebraska and Lincoln. So. Yeah. So. I uh, think. For a, for a medium rare to medium, that one. Yeah. Mid upper 130s won't be bad for David. Yeah, it should be okay. All right. Corey says you did good. <laughs> Just cut it, Josh. Well, let's let's get our asparagus out here. Some melted cheese on the top. Let me see if I can tilt the pan a little more. A little more. A little more. There you go. So we got that. Josh, do you have do you have LED bulbs in your kitchen? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they're they're fluorescent. Yeah, get the LED daylight bulbs. You'll be a yeah. lot happier with the color. Yeah, and these are like way way bright, way way blown out. So, all right, plate yeah. it up. People want to see what you did. People want to see what's going on here. So, took the foil off. See, with the lights, it just looks like a big garden. All so, right, now scrape that crap off the top so everybody can see the meat when you cut it. Well, I'm going to eat the garlic. That's fine. Are you covering up a bad sear job with that garden on top of that bovine? Negative. Or Negative. I just wanted the herbs. I wanted the thyme to, you know, just, you know, make it delicious. Hold on. We'll Corey, get said, get, Corey said, get rid of the damn seaweed, Josh. <laughs> and the garlic looks uh, pretty legit. Roasted, uh, little roasted pieces. Nobody wants to see the garlic, Josh. Okay, hold on. Let's get the steak going here. We want to cut against the grain. A lot of, this is a lot of stress going live with you, Kent. Oh, no, no. I should be your calm and soothing voice that you need any time. Well, I, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Me either. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm happy so far. I'm going to try and get it on, I'm going to try and get it on the camera. Now, I got to cut it up into smaller pieces. No, no, you don't. You can do that later. Okay, what do you want to see? Tell me what Snap you want to see. Snap that bad boy on the fork and put it in front of the camera. All right, hold on. Let me see here. It's the lighthouse. <laughs> oh, Mike, you're killing oh. me. All right, hold on. Let's see here. See if we can... If we can See, the light is so bad. Hold on. You know me... what? Hold it. Hold it right there. Just turn it that well there. That's a pretty good shot there, but the light is so bad though. And it's washing out a little bit, but yeah. so we got plenty of pink inside. I would have probably pulled it a couple minutes sooner. But you said David's medium rare to medium. So. Yeah, I mean he'll be super happy. Me. Yeah, well, I... that's who you're cooking it for, right? <laughs> yeah. So Okay, there you go. And but, job well done, Joshua. I'm trying to I'm trying to show a couple just the lighting is so bad. So Tom Tom Horseman said it looks medium rare to him. Yeah, I mean it's probably more towards the the, the medium category. Well, hey, Josh. I mean he'll be happy. Josh. Yes, sir. As quoted by Cooking with Corey, <laughs> good cook, Josh. Let me see here. 
if I can get an actual decent. See, it's so. Hold on, let me turn these. Let me see here. Can we see anything, or is it all blown out? Uh, it's pretty blown out, but yeah. uh, try cupping your hand over it, Josh, like this. Now above it, Josh, <laughs> like this. There you go. Block a little of that light. Anyways, let me see. Jacqueline Dad said good steak. Bruce says completely edible, Josh. Tastes good. Big Cat 305 says he feels like you're trying to hypnotize him with that steak dancing in front of the camera. <laughs> Corey says put some makeup on your head. Glare is bad. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you have super bright lights in the kitchen. <laughs> Dan, Dan says it looks good to him. So there you go. I think I think it's, I mean the flavor is I mean I, I mean salt pepper garlic some fresh roasted garlic and thyme you, you you're not going to beat that you're not going to beat that. Well, you could add a little rosemary in there. Yeah, I see I don't think rosemary makes that much of a difference me personally. Well, then your taste buds are lying to you. When I think of rosemary I think of like birds like turkey and chicken and poultry type well, let's ask the trained chef in the audience what he thinks of rosemary with beef. Who's the trained chef? <laughs> Corey. I mean, Corey. <laughs> you know I got to give Corey a hard time. Jimmy says uh, uh, Babe trained him well. <laughs> Jacqueline Dad says the glare so bad he's got shades on and it's nighttime there. No, I know. I know. Jimmy Q says newsflash. Maybe Josh can cook. Now, I may or may not be embellishing some of these, uh, the chat I'm reading. Kent, you're supposed to have my back. I'm what? You're supposed to have my back. I am. It's just uh, when, Corey, when Corey puts stuff in the chat, it's normally boring, so I got to jazz it up a little bit. That roasted garlic is really good. And there's a restaurant out here in Los Angeles called the Stinking Rose. And they have like 40 clove chicken and it's like garlic ice cream. It's like a hardcore garlic restaurant. And they do a lot of like roasted garlic with oils and different things like that. That garlic's good. I would compare it to that. It's, it's, it's really good. Well, and we now have conflicting opinions in the chat because both Corey and Bruce say they choose ro rosemary rather than thyme. But Big Cat 305 says for me, thyme for steak. Yeah, uh, thyme is for steak. Rosemary is for birds. My opinion. Yeah. This well, bone is super tight. I'll tell you what. Hey, Josh. Yes, sir. In April, we'll go find uh, Gordon Ramsay and ask him on a walkabout. How's that? I'm um, down. Yeah. Holy moly. That's really good. I might eat it all before he even comes down here. What are you doing eating David's dinner? What am I going to have for dinner? That's your problem. <laughs> your son comes first, damn it. Just have to have a couple of the good bites. All right, I'm going to have one more because, I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. It's pretty good. I mean, see, the camera just doesn't even do it justice. See there I it does. There you go, right there. It's a little blurry, but you can see the color. Yeah. Good sear. Good color. Wow. David. He's up there doing who knows what. <laughs> How old is he now? Eight. Oh, he's too young for that. <laughs> no. He's playing video games. So let's throw a couple uh, pieces of asparagus on the plate. You know, Josh, you're not going to believe this, but you're getting quite a few compliments in the what? chat. 
Well, that that's shocking. I never get compliments on YouTube. Why well, you get them from me, but normally they're after midnight, and I've been drinking, so they don't really count. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me. Uh, I'll show you the final product here on the plate. And again, I I had to cut it up, little boy status. Let me take a little thumbnail picture. We gotta. We're gonna have to update the the thumbnail after the video. There you go. There we go. Okay. You should have taken the thumbnail when you put the asparagus on the plate and the steak was still whole. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right about that. But then you had that seaweed salad on top of it yet. Yeah. Hey, I got a question for you, Josh. Yes, sir. It says, what up, baby girl? Oh, is the hungry hussy in here? Yes, oh. sir, he is. Let's see here. Hold on. Hi, hussy. How you doing, brother? Happy Thanksgiving, buddy. That looks a lot better there. Okay, so now you got a kind of an idea of what we're dealing with here. So I know the camera's blown out. Now that Hungry Hussy's here, I have to be on my best behavior because he thinks he won the burrito challenge. But anyways. Oh, he kicked your ass in that burrito challenge. Okay, I mean, because he put some stuff on the top of it, that's it? Come on. No. Come on. He, you know what? I, when I watched yours and I saw you call him out, 90% of what he put in his, I already had in my head. So, I mean, it was basically the same on the inside. He just put some stuff on the outside. Oh, no, 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 no. Not even close. I mean, come on. I think, I think you better go back and watch both videos when you're oh, so. Oh, I have. Oh, I have. Meanwhile, my video has 800 views. His has 20,000 views. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I've seen. I've seen. You want me to compare a thumbs up? <laughs> well, I mean, he's... I'm going to look it up real quick. I mean, yeah, I got an he, iPad, a phone, and a laptop sitting in front of me. He has a dedicated He has a dedicated following. He has people yeah, that love him. Hussey said you had like three freaking ingredients, Josh. And one That's of them not true. Was, and I one was a tortilla. That's not true. That's not true at all. I had green chilies. I had french fries. I had chorizo. I had bacon. I had eggs. I had cheese. I mean, I mean, my, mine was a flavor explosion in your mouth. Okay, Hussy, you're wrong. He had four. Oh, he, had protein, he had protein, he had chilies, a tortilla, and he had dairy. That's all right, it. let me call the child down. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. I'm going to call the child down. He had to use an air fryer. David! Hey, hey Hussey, I did, some, uh, I did some fries on the Blackstone tonight for the kids. Did some chili dogs. Oh, my God. Does that thing make nice french fries? It was awesome. Bruce, I couldn't agree with you more. Hussey's destroyed Josh. Yeah, uh, Corey, right. I can't agree with you more. The child, oh, anyways. Yeah, the child's coming. Hello. Oh, hmm. What color is his hair this week? <laughs> it's it's normal now. We're, we're back in school. Now. We're, we're back in school. He has to have normal hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You going to say hi or? Do you, want, do you want to come and say hi? Sure. <laughs> Uh, you want some tacos? This way. Hey, you want some tacos? This way. Say hello. Hi, you want some tacos? Okay, go eat your steak. Hi, David. <laughs> Hi. Okay, I want to hear how it is. First, it's garlic and divided by a hamster ball. Yeah, some garlic. Oh, it's good, huh? Mm -hmm. He said, I said, hey, do you want me to do the steak? First, he said, I want the steak on the Blackstone because I made him like a little New York strip on the Blackstone and he liked that. And then I was like, well, I can do it on the Weber, like reverse sear. And then he's like, no, I, we haven't had a pan steak in a while. I want a pan steak in the kitchen. I think that was a good call. So, and it's raining outside. So I was like, okay, well, we'll do a, we'll do a pan steak. 
you know what? Just for that, I'm going to have to do a couple in here. Yeah. Because, you know, yesterday, and Corey, Corey can attest to this. I don't know how much snow they got down in Lincoln. But we got about uh, uh, six inches up here with 40, 45 mile an hour winds. We had drifts everywhere. Woo! So, yeah, well, it was not, we it was not fun to wake up to this morning. But uh, little man got out and ran the snowblower for me because I can't do it yet. Yeah. And uh, our driveway is 95% clear. I mean, it's down to clear pavement. So oh, that's good. We haven't had any, any real weather this whole season. And then this storm that started today was pretty like the, the, the interstate five freeway that is the main artery through California. They closed that down within two hours today because the snow was so bad. And so, and it's raining here, like literally 10 minutes from here, it's snowing. So I'm like, okay, you know, tomorrow I'm going to do those big legs on the pit barrel cooker in the rain. So I'm like, yeah, today we'll just stay inside and hang out. There you go. Yeah, Bruce is, uh, what is this snow you speak of? Bruce, in the winter in Iowa, um, we have white sandy beaches where our grass used to be. That's what that is. So. I think I think the folks want to hear your opinion. You have to come over here and tell your opinion on, on what the steak is. Wow. Oh, you're too busy shoveling it in your face. <laughs> hey, if he's too busy to talk, that's a good sign. <laughs> Did you try the asparagus with the cheese on it yet? No? That's next? Yeah. How's the roasted garlic? Oh, that's good? Yeah. <laughs> He's he's very he's very preoccupied. Let's see what else do we have here for dinner. So, Kent. Everything's delicioso. Come come this way. Everything is so good. Is it great? Yes. Okay. All right. So, Kent, I'll uh, I'll tell you a Thanksgiving secret that I'm working on tomorrow. Are you are you are you? taping something that we talked about last week no 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 i'm gonna work on that soon tomorrow i'm just working on a just a normal video uh, yeah but i gotta get with you on that and figure out a plan that's top secret that's top secret information yeah well you got my number just call me and you have my address feel free to send me some rub um i lost it i'll send it to babe again yeah. So on Instagram, there's um, a guy that's he has a pretty large following and he's a, a professional chef and he does like private events and stuff like that. And he put out a mac and cheese recipe that has done I, from what I see has done fairly well for him. And he will show you pictures of it and he'll show you people eating it and stuff. And they're like, oh, it's super awesome and blah, 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 blah. But he won't give you the recipe unless you send him $1. And so me being the dumb dumb that I am, I sent him $1 to get the recipe. So I have the recipe that I paid $1 for. And let me tell you, um, I, so I'm going to do a mac and cheese video. I'm going to film it tomorrow for Thanksgiving. I'm going to make a mac and cheese video. And from hey, what I know about mac and cheese, Josh, and I bought, yes, sir. Josh, Go ahead. I'm up here. Look at the camera. Hello. Hello. Look at the camera when you talk. I'm looking at the computer so I can read the comments. Okay. But I'll look at the camera. Okay. What the hell am I here for then? Well, you're doing a great job. All right. So... I've watched your mac and cheese video and it started with a roux. Most mac and cheese videos that are of quality start with a roux and stuff like that. This does not. And this, apparently this mac and cheese video is widely popular. I paid a dollar for it. Let me just tell you, this is the most expensive mac and cheese. Let me tell you the, the caliber of, of what we're going after. Four cups of cheddar cheese, three cups of Kobe Jack cheese, three cups of Monterey Jack cheese, Two cups. Are you familiar with the the boar? I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Borgian. It's like that little tiny cheeses that you that you buy that you, that you dip like crackers in it, kind of. It's like that gourmet-ish cheese. You know what I'm talking about? 
Uh, yeah, I believe so. Okay, so two cups of that, four cups of smoked Gouda, eggs, and heavy whipping cream. I can see that. I can I can definitely see that. I'm Josh. I made one last week for church. I mean, that's the, youth, the youth field kids were clamoring for mac and cheese. Yeah. And I actually made it without a roux. But our goofy pastor decided, oh, we need to use two blocks of Velveeta. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, Velveeta. So I had to fortify Velveeta with some goodness out of the pantry. And then I covered the top of each pan. I had two hotel pans yeah. full of mac and cheese for yeah. 30 junior high age kids. <laughs> And then I uh, at the top, I combined the 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 cheese sauce, the bechamel with everything, and uh, um, put Colby Jack and uh, mild cheddar over the top, and then baked it in the oven three fifty about forty minutes. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, this is. And Guess the, what? How there was it? not there was not a bite left. I mean, okay, so maybe this guy's onto something. I'm just saying the amount of cheese that I purchased and the, the price of the noodles. And of course it's Thanksgiving, so you can't buy elbow mac because they're sold out. Uh, literally, I went to two different stores, they're all sold out. So we're doing shells, we're doing medium shells. Um, uh, between the shells and all this cheese and the heavy whipping cream, you know a quart of heavy whipping cream is like six bucks. This is like a probably a $30 macaroni when it's all set up. You're not even close at 30. It might even be more. It might even be more, literally, because just the smoked Gouda was $10. Josh, so, when I, when I uh, a couple years ago, when I got third in the state in pork loin, yeah. we, had to do, we had to do the same side we did in the qualifier. Yeah. My mac and cheese cost $62. Damn. That, but I mean, for me, it was... Me, it was seven cheese mac and cheese, okay? And it had it did have some pretty good ingredients, but when you're competing at, at that level, right. you have to. This ain't I mean, your craft box macaroni and cheese I mean, and getting I mean, Russell's I mean, Market and Lincoln, this Nebraska. This is the picture of how it looks. I okay, mean, all well, mac and looks like that. Do me a favor, uh, Josh. Yeah. Take a picture and send me the picture. I will. I'll send you the recipe that I paid one dollar for. All right. <laughs> All right. Hold on. I gotta. I gotta get back to the chat here. Troy uh, SR seventy one says, "Bless his little heart. He's trying hungry, hussy." <laughs> I put that. I put that comment in Hussy's video. I in saw that. I saw and that. I said, "Bless his well, heart." Let me tell you. Um, the people that support Hungry Hussy are vicious. They Not only did they come for me, they came for me on his page and everything like that. I'm about to challenge him to a live cook-off. I'll have Kit and CJ moderate it, and then we'll do a four-way split screen, and then we'll see what's up live status. And the way we'll do it is, hey, these are your ingredients. You have to have these 10 ingredients. You make whatever you want out of these 10 things, and then we'll see what's up. Because you know what, Josh? Hungry Hussy I, has some, hungry Josh, has some you know That sounds like a great idea. But you know what? Yes, sir. I'd be happy to moderate that with CJ. And I'll cook, and I guarantee I'd finish at least second. I mean, you're sounding pretty confident. I'm, I, I'd be all right finishing runner up to Hungry Hussy and moderating. Hell, no problem. I mean, if it's me, you, and Hungry Hussy, you think you're going to finish second? A very tight second and moderate. Uh, I feel like you probably would be in third or maybe fourth, and there's only three competitors. I don't I don't think so, Cupcake. <laughs> Josh, can I show you something? Yeah, don't show me your – no, I don't want to see that. No, I'm good. <laughs> yes. I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to see all that. I'm, I'm just saying, Josh. Yeah, I don't want to see all that. You know? Yeah. I'm, I'm no, just saying. I don't even know what that is. 
<laughs> you better eat some of that asparagus too, not just the steak. How is it? David, you eat whatever you want. Tell dad to mind his own business. <laughs> Buy me mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is tomorrow. Make it today. Yeah. So, boy, oh, boy, this mac and cheese better be some, like, earth-shattering something. For I had to go to two different stores. It costs a gang of money. I mean, holy well, moly. If, if you had to go to two different stores, I think you better move to a better neighborhood. Well, apparently at the first store I went to, all the smoked Gouda and the Colby, uh, and the Colby was sold out because of Thanksgiving. All right, let me ask you a question. You're not buying pre-shredded cheese, are you? Uh, stand by, sir. Stand by. This is my uh, my smoked Gouda right here. Yeah, but... I got to shred this myself. Right. You better be shredding all the cheese. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, my, you're... My, my, Monterey, my Monterey Jack block. Yeah. Otherwise, your, your bechamel is going to turn out like garbage. Yeah. And then... You have to... Oh, wait, wait. No, Josh, better yet. You shredded cheese. You got to put that in there. Down. There you go. You're done? Yeah. Let's see how he did. This is it. Tilt it more. Hey, there's, there's fat oh, on those pieces. There you go. Good job, there's fat, David. There's fat on all those pieces? Yeah. You didn't even eat the asparagus. Here, how about you just get out of here and I'll take over the comments. Oh, you're going to take over the comments? Yeah. I'll oh, okay. Hmm, that asparagus is pretty good. Josh, this is not a muck ring. <laughs> What's so funny? Look at this one. What's it? No one. Asparagus will make your pee stink? Is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Asparagus does make your pee stink. Here, how about you go to the comments and I'll be in the video. Okay, go ahead and handle it. All right. Nobody can see you. No one can see me. They can see the top of your face. Switch your camera, Josh. Cool. <laughs> so, Josh. Josh. Expand your camera back to when you we were screwing around in the beginning. <clears throat> this is the soul Bethany's on all the time. I don't know. He might be about is what's he standing on? Either that or he's about as tall as Bethany. No, he has a little step stool. He will. He'll, he'll probably overtake me. Hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> all right. Say good night to everybody. It's not over yet. But you're but you have to go play your video games. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so the moral of the story, Kent, is that uh, I mean a good mac and cheese apparently costs you forty freaking dollars. Uh, mac pretty and close. Cheese. Okay, 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 okay. Pretty close. Which is which is nuts. I mean, if you think about you making a if you make a full Thanksgiving dinner legitimate style. With the turkey, like legit potatoes, mac and cheese, crit. I mean, you're you're a couple hundred dollars in the game by the time that you're that you're all done. Uh oh, somebody upset the hungry hussy. He goes, "I gotta go and watch some thirty videos some punk was talking trash to me about." Who? Uh oh. Who was it? What did, me? What did you do? Was it me? What? Uh, I've never been nothing but nice to the hussy, so it's not oh. about me. You know that. I always talk. I always talk madness to hungry hussy. I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, move the stool. No. Nope. Come on. No, I'm staying right here. No, 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 no. You gotta push in the chair. Hey, hussy, send me a link. I want to go see this guy's uh, channel. Yeah, who is it? It must not be me because I I openly tell him when I talk when I talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> I have my eyes. Yeah. Oh, 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 eyes. 
Okay. Oh, it was Josh's video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I openly tell him. I openly told him that I uh, that I was talking badness about him. I can't. I hey, you have to send me the sneak peek of the next one. I will. I will. Cause... I, I gotta. I gotta get with you on that and figure out a plan. Figure out what? A plan. Got to figure out the best best way to go about that. Do you know what you're making? No. Daddy. Hmm. This one. Yeah. Well, what what common is that? Very bottom. Josh could make a preacher cuss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the hungry hussy, I gotta go and watch it still. Yeah, I believe. You know what? I believe the hungry hussy even cooked his breakfast burrito in his church clothes. I mean, yeah, that, that's breakfast true. Burritos? That's true. I'll, I'll give you that. But, I mean, if you really get down to it and dissect it, mine on the interior was more delicious. He just had some queso sauce on the top. No, no. Yeah? No. I feel, I feel like you're looking at it through a biased eye. No, I'm not. And, uh, there's trained chefs in here that. Uh, <laughs> you said that's, very, very very bottom again. That uh, say yeah. you eat with your eyes first, and his was better. So. <laughs> Why is Corey talking so much madness today? Because Corey knows what he's talking about. I mean, uh, were you the guy that banned Corey every single time for? You don't worry about what Corey and I do together. We're neighbors. I mean, you're hardly neighbors. Huh? I mean, you're not really neighbors. Well, he's two hours away. Uh, I mean, so me and you are neighbors. No, because it's more than a three-hour flight to California. Yeah, we're like ten hours away. So. I've been to Florida before. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How many of the night? Them eggs, man. They went to heaven, bro. The hungry you hussy. took them to death. <laughs> that, I mean, that that's a lie. It's it, it, it's a lie. No. <laughs> Come here. Come here. I don't know. I'm just saying, uh, uh, we might have to have like a live, a live deal between me and Hungry Hussy. Battle of the Kitchen style, a live deal. Winner take all, one round. Josh, did I ever tell you how I did on Battle of the Kitchens? Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar. I'm familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm familiar. Daddy. I, hey, I was a team player. I took out the guy that took out CJ and you and Ben. Uh, yeah, that, I, yes, all, that, that is, yes, that is true. Just stop, yeah. just stop going like, uh, uh, what, 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 what? Josh, Josh, read Hussey's comment. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see here. I work on my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, well, you know what? He might be biting off more than he can chew. I'm just saying. <laughs> what? Are you putting comments on the screen now? No, no, no. You're not the computer guy. Yes, I am. <laughs> hey, see my killer guard dog? Is that a new dog? Five pounds of fury right there. Five, five pounds of fury. Yep. I, I'm, his, his real name's Chico, but I'm starting to call him Rick. You should call him Corey. No, is Rick Galeno. This is my LBM. <laughs> this is my little bitty Mexican. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. 
All right, I gotta get him in the house. Be right back. Nice haircut. <laughs> Anyways, so that's that. Right? Right. No, you don't get to run. You don't get to run the comments. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You better go get your video game time in now before it's bedtime. I don't get a bedtime. Oh, that's what you think. It's the weekend. No, it's a Wednesday. It's the weekend. Yeah, I don't think so. Hey, Kai Taylor. <laughs> Thanksgiving break. Let's see. I'm gonna go on the phone. See how many? Can you see how many people are in the chat, Kent? I can't see it from my end. Um, from uh, let me uh, let me try something here, Josh, because I'm oh, on the iPad, so I can't just refresh. There's all kinds of people live right now. Enzo's live. Smoking Joe's pit barbecue is live. We're competing. We're competing. It says, yeah. Um, Joe uh, Joe started about almost 40 minutes ago. It's his weekly thing. Enzo does it about the same time, and normally Dash will be on. From uh, steel drum smokers, also. Oh well, hot, so, hot diggity dog. Well, then you know what? We could end it, and we could all go over to uh, Joe's. There sounds go. good to me. There you go. Well, just, hey, but when everybody gets there, we got to have a code word and be like, boom, 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 and just screw Joe up. How about the code word will be Josh will win. Because when me and Hungry Hussy go against each other, obviously. No, that that he's gonna see right through that that it's BS. Oh, how about um, Josh is sexy? Same thing. No. How about Kent never sent Josh any rub? How about that? That'll work. <laughs> how about Kent has Josh's address yet his mailbox is still empty? Dot com. How about that? Remember when, <laughs> Bethany, <laughs> remember when Bethany got so mad when we lost? You know what? I think I'm actually going to send it to David. <laughs> David doesn't like spicy stuff. Yeah. Or do I? Corey says he's got rub. Yeah. So uh, my, uh, oh, Mike, hey, Mike, by the way, you're welcome. Mike won... Well, Mike didn't really win, but uh, CJ was going to send him some Uncle Steve shake. Oh, okay. So uh, Mike got a five pack this week. Damn. He That's got barbecue. He got uh, Gator shake. He got the original, the spicy R, the thick meat, and sweet heat. Not not a bad week. I mean, my goodness. My favorite sauce is ranch. So if you want to send some ranch, that would be fine. Hey, David. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad has to go to Hidden Valley Ranch and get that big Christmas stocking that has <laughs> the fifty-four ounce ranch dispenser in the bottom of the tote. There's ranch inside it. Yep. I want ranch. Here. You're welcome, Josh. I received. The ranch. Bye, bye. I agree. You got a little. I, I tell you what. Um, the other morning, Papa, I did a uh, big, thick Iowa chop on the black zone for breakfast, and I sprinkled that with the spicier overnight. Fried up some eggs that morning and put the spicier on the eggs too. Oh my gosh, that was good. I've used Kent's rub on on a couple things now, and and it it is very good. It is very good. I've used yes. it on steak, pulled pork, uh, a couple a couple different things. You know what? I've I've used it on chicken and pork. Okay. okay. I, I, the other night I had this piece of elk backstrap. It looked like a piece of filet mignon. Yeah. I did it in a small cast iron skillet with a little bit of butter. Yeah. <clears throat> Because Rick Galindo was going to try some and do some. Right. And I said, Rick, I said, put it on steak. Yeah, on steak, it's it's legit. Oh, I, I, I never thought of it that way for steak. And I tried it, and I was, I was blown away. I really was. So, Hungry Hussies taking off. Take care, guys. Have a blessed Thanksgiving. You too, Matthew. 
Take care and enjoy your day with family. <laughs> You're right, Troy. You're right. Paul says good night also. All right. We'll sign off. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll be doing some turkey legs tomorrow and the most expensive mac and cheese in the world. And, uh, yeah, just hanging out. Hey, Josh. Hey. Yeah. Guess what? What? Technically, technically, this is the third time today I'm live. I know. <laughs> Kent, Kent has been Kent is on a on a mission today. Well, you know, Kent's off for another twelve days at least. So, <laughs> my baby girl, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> All right, everybody. Kent will be live. Numerous more times. I'm going to film the video because not only did I pay a dollar for the recipe, I paid a million dollars for all the ingredients. So this better be the damn near best mac and cheese ever. So, my goodness. Remember our old intro? Hi, Thanks, Papa. Papa. Happy babe. I appreciate that, Papa Texas. Thank you. So, yeah, we're on our way to mending. So, I don't know. We'll see if I get through Black Friday. Just remember, if you don't pay your bills, it's going to be a Black Sunday when they turn off your electric. So, <laughs> <laughs> no. our, our power cooperative doesn't work on Sunday, so it'll be like Black Monday. <laughs> so. All right. That's it. All right, brother. All right. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you all. Uh, that's it. The steak, the asparagus. You need to go to bed. Welcome back to Josh and Bane. And that's it. All right. Hold on. I got to hit the off button. I got to hit the off button. Bye, everybody. Bye, David.